Hello everyone! Today I'll be showing you how to change the character status and some other things as well. If you want to see more of these types of videos, go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to my channel because as I am learning T-Script, I have a lot more of these tutorials planned. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, let's get started. So, to change the character status, you would need to type in char, which is the player, and the number in parentheses is either 1 for 1 player or 2 for 2 player. Then type in dot status which is the player's power. Now I need the manual shown because I can't memorize all of them but here are all of the um, here are all the numbers uh, your value can be and it depends on the current power of the player. So you have 12 options of what the player's power should be. So, and I, I will also have all this manual in the description below of the video. Um, so say if you want Mario to start the level as Fire Mario, then you would type in equals three. Let's test this out. Yep, Mario's Fire Mario. So, you can also... replace status with ID. And you can choose the character you want to play as in the level. So, equals zero means Mario. One is Luigi. Two is Peach. 3 is Toad, and 4 is Link. Now, before you comment the obvious, I know there is a similar method of this if you just select the test options and, and you can choose your own character and status that way. However, keep in mind that if you are making like custom power-ups and stuff like that, you will need to use scripting instead because those require a lot of complex code. Another thing I want to show you is the item slot, which means the current mount or transformation of the player. Let me just zoom this out a little bit. Um, more. There we go. So that this means the current mounted transformation of the player. And here are all the possible numbers uh, you can use um, as your item, item slot. So, it, but if you use an uh, invalid number, which is any other number than these numbers here, then the game will crash. So you need to be kind of careful here. So let's say that you want Mario to start off on a blue Yoshi. Well, the value for Blue Yoshi is 2. So, you would have to... Um, you type in equals 2. And that would mean... Actually, hold on. Um, item slot. There we go. And this... Again, I'll go over the code again. Um, the char means the player. The one means which player it is. Uh, whether the one means whether it's one player or two, player one or player two. Then you have um, item slot, which is the mount or the transformation, and the value is two. So let's test this out. Mario should be riding on a blue Yoshi. And there you go, he's riding on a blue Yoshi. So that is it for now. Again, a lot of these tutorials are planned as I am learning T-Script. It's mostly going to be easy stuff now, but eventually I will be making custom NPCs as I wanted to do to for a very long time now. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.